quick tutorial on how to use your new JVC 890 model camera. First you'll want to turn the camera on. You'll want to pop your monitor open, push it back in so you can see your menu selection. The menu button is located right here, push it once, and when you push the menu selection you'll have a main menu pop up. You'll want to arrow down to system, down here system, and hit enter. Your play pause button is the enter. And then you'll go to record set. When you go to record set you'll see record format and then record format. You'll have a few options. We'll want to be on the MP4 format so you'll push enter and then once you menu back out using your button it'll prompt you to say apply and you'll apply that now you're set for HD MP4 if I go back to menu you'll see again if I go down to system hit enter go to record set You'll see also I have 1920 by 1080. That's where you want to be. So you want to be on HD, MP4, and 1920. Hit menu again. And if you look over, you want to go down to system. Hit enter. You have record media. If I push record media, you can go into format media and that's where you'll format your cards push in uh, I arrow up almost like a P2 camera hit enter and there you go your card is being formatted in slot A another feature that you'll want to do is you might be at a pool situation at court so again you'll hit menu and this time you will arrow down to system, enter, record set, record format, and here you have HD. See this guy right up here? If I hit enter, you'll see you have a few other items HD, SD, I, N. If I push that, now depending on what you're recording, like channel 5, you would then want to scroll down into your resolutions and figure out which one they are and hit enter. All right, so let's say we needed a dub from either a pool situation, another photographer's B-roll. What we would do is go into your HDSDI in with a BNC cable, plug that in. Again, I'm gonna go to menu and arrow down to system. The video we're using happens to be in an SD format from the P2 deck, so I'm going to hit record set, record format, and again, if we were doing HD, we'd be here, but I'm doing SDI in, hit OK, hit system, and I will hit this button to set it, and I'll hit the menu to exit out and hit apply. Now my P2 deck, because I'm using this as the SDI source, I'll find a clip. Let's say it's this guy. I'll just pause him for a second. And when I do that, you'll see the picture comes in. I'll hit play from the P2 deck. And now all I have to simply do is hit record on my lens as if I was shooting video. Now if I want to view those clips, hold the cam media button down. And here's my selected clips. Another area that we like to check is your camera process. And that gives you your master blacks. We've been kicking our master blacks to about minus three. Arrow down. And we've also been raising the gain, the color gain. So there, and that should be about plus three. We still haven't established what our colors will be, but this is a good area in the range. 
Another feature on your camera, instead of a filter wheel, you have neutral density filters, off, quarter, sixteenth, and sixty-four. So think of it as, unlike your P2 deck is filter wheel one, two, three, and four. That would be one, two, three, and four. Down below is your white balance, and you can turn by sliding this over your zebra bars on or off. In the beginning, using your zebra bars, I think you'll have to figure out your sweet spot because the zebra bars could throw you off because you might think that you're shooting too hot. So um, you'll need to spend a little time with playing with that. SD card slots are right here. You have two slots, 64 gigs. You can do about seven hours worth of video on them. Um, make sure you put your cards in good, close them. The green light indicates which card you are recording onto. When you want to preview your clips, you'll hit, there's a button here called Cam Media. Just hold your Cam Media button down for a few seconds. Then you'll get your thumbnails. And you get in the clips. You can hit play. And it'll play the two clips. Alright, now since I shot on my JVC, I put two clips. I will again pop my card by pushing in it pops out remove the card close your door and now we're ready to ingest i got one other thing i want to show you guys and that's that you want to turn your sdi output on to do a live shot and to do that you want to go to the av set press enter go to video set and here you have HDMI, SDI in. Here, I'll show you some of the options. I'm doing both because we might end up getting a live view that has an HDMI input. So for now, I'm just leaving mine at that. So now I could do both. Again, I'll hit menu and I'll exit out.